Hello and welcome. Let's model a pawn chess piece with a Fusion 360. I will start with a sketch on the front plane and take that line tool, go up here to the origin to the right make that a tangent arc and finish with a line. Then I'll take the dimension tool, take that height, type in 38, and this distance here is nine and that radius is 1.5. Let's have a look. There is this line here. Okay. Now I will take that arc tool, a center point arc, place that here on that line, go up here. And Drop that somewhere there. Go back to the line tool, pressing the left mouse button to make that again a tangent arc and continue with the line. Okay, let's add some dimensions again. Press D for that tool and um, give that 7.5 millimeters dimension here. Then that end point to the top is 12.5. Now nah, something yeah. vanished, but it's still there. Let's apply a equal constraint between those two arcs. There's the equal icon. I take this one and that one. All right, so that is constraint. And again, with a D, that's center point at 6.5. We can apply another constraint for, um, to fix this point here, and that is that vertical. We will apply this constraint here. All right. So now I will take the three point arc from over there, drop that somewhere here. And then take the tangent arc tool from here over there. Now I will make an offset of that line here. I take the tool here, offset. Not a chain selection, just that line here with an offset of nine millimeters. I can transform that to uh, construction geometry pressing X. Now um, I will apply a tangent relationship between that arc and that line. And then again, dimensioning that arc with a six millimeters radius and that one with a 15 millimeter radius. I will dimension that endpoint here towards that line with four millimeters. And our sketch is fully constrained. If this is too confusing with all those constraints, you can hide them here. 
read in the dimensions, look, everything's all right, and then turn those back again. And finish the sketch now. Take the Revolve tool. Fusion automatically selects that profile region here. And I need to select the axis. Take that one. And there it is. Our pawn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.